Hey, what's up you guys? Danny here, and uh, here is the uh, first generation iPod that I uh, just updated to 3.1.2. Fresh install and everything, I'll just show you guys. Anyways, uh, like I said, next video is going to be about jailbreaking. have nothing on here. Next video is going to be about jailbreaking, and uh, this is the next video. So, uh, anyways, we're going to be jailbreaking today using Black Rain. Now this is uh, the simplest, easiest, and fastest jailbreak out there. Uh, you go to blackrain.com, uh, rain with a 1 instead of an I. Uh, I'll include the link in the description so you guys don't have to worry about that. And we're running on Windows, so all you have to do is click Windows down here. And it will ask you to download the small exe file. And it takes, I don't know, it takes a little bit of time, but whatever. Anyways, there it is just save that and everything but I already have it so you guys know the deal now since we're running on Vista I have to right click this run as administrator select run and then it's gonna ask do we want to run this say allow and here's the easy part you have one button on here it says make it rain all you have to do is click that now before opening black rain uh go into your uh task yeah task manager and uh kill anything that has to do with itunes so anyways uh i already did that but uh once you did that i'll just keep the ipod right there so i can show you what i'll be doing and click make it rain it says entering recovery And there we go. Brought up the little picture and all that. And all we have to do is wait. It says your jailbreak is done once device reboots. And just wait. As you can see, I mean, it took like five seconds for this to pop up. Now, if this does not work for you on the first try, don't freak out. Uh, on my iPod, this worked for me first try. And I'm on a 3G. This is a one, uh, this is first generation. It's loading down there. This is the first generation, and uh, this is actually the second time I'm doing this. The uh, first try, the first time I tried to do this, uh, it was a failed attempt. But uh, yeah, anyways, all you have to do is wait for the reboot. Just wait, just wait, just wait. This one takes some time to reboot just because it's a first generation, but whatever. There we go. Unlock. Black Rain. All you have to do is run this, and I do not have this hooked up to an internet connection yet or anything. You will need an internet connection, but uh, anyways, from here on out, you just need to uh, select your package and everything. I'd recommend using Cydia, and then just install that and everything. So, yeah, I'll just uh, be cutting the video here real quick. Okay, and we're back. Uh, anyways, once you get a connection going, uh, you can select either Cydia or Rock. Now, everyone recommends Cydia, so just say Cydia and install. Just need to wait for it to download, then it's going to install it and everything. So, we'll just wait for this. It doesn't take too long. But, uh, anyways, once it respring's again. Just go back here, go to Cydia, and we'll use graphical only. Once it does that, there you go. Uh, you can use this to download new programs and everything, but uh, I'll show you one example. I'll just download a program real quick. Sometimes it does take some time to load, but I mean, most of the time it's pretty good. All right, uh... I just had to cut that, but uh, I forgot to mention, you probably will have to update some stuff. So I'd recommend when it gives you the uh, little notification to update, just do a complete update. But uh, I'll do uh, one thing. We have a uh, MX Tube right here. This is kind of like the YouTube application, but uh, except you can download YouTube videos straight onto here. I like it a lot. I'm sure my friend will. So you just click install in the corner once you pick that. Confirm. Just let it do its thing. And once it's done downloading, extracting, installing, everything, and reloading, 
And all you need to do is wait. And yeah, it does say reloading data a lot, but uh, return to Cydia. You can exit out of here and access MX2. So accept. Okay. Anyways, there you go. And uh, if you don't want Black Rain on here anymore, uh, you can go ahead and select uninstall Black Rain and delete it. And it's going to have to respring. So, anyways, there you go. First generation uh, iPod Touch that's running on 3.1.2 is now jailbroken thanks to Black Rain. Anyways, uh, now uh, before I go, I'm going to show you real quick how to uh, restart your iPod if you're running on a uh, 3G or 3GS. Alright, so uh, this will be the final clip of the video, but uh, here is my iPod right here. Third generation, been uh, jailbroken, everything with the same program. Only difference with third generation is that if you completely power it down, like so, then once you boot it back up, it has to go into recovery mode. I'll even just prove it to you, uh, unplug it. So if I want to boot it up, boots up like so. And then ask you to go into recovery mode. So all you have to do, I'll just put the camera down for this real quick. All you have to do is just plug it in. Once you plug it in, just you have to have this uh, Black Rain application running. Just run it like before. Just click Make It Rain, and a little picture pops up. Message comes up. You can press OK. Press X on here, and uh, just pop that out and all you have to do is wait and the reason why you have to do this is just because the third generation uh, jailbreak it's a uh, tether jailbreak so yeah anyways there we go anyways like I said if you're on first generation second generation you don't have to worry about that if you're on third generation or uh, 3GS then you have to do this every time you restart your iPod. I mean, you can put it into sleep mode as many times as you want, but if you shut it off or if it dies or something, you have to do this. So, a little bit of an annoyance, but better than having an iPod that's not jailbroken at all. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you helped, helped, I, uh, helped you out a lot. So, yeah, thanks for watching.